Hey everyone, what's up? It's Babylonius from PicaSerenity.com here with the very first Tomb of Sargeras kill commentary. Uh, first boss in the raid, uh, Heroic Goroth. Uh, much uh, more simple uh, pronunciation of a name than we've seen recently. Um, so uh, let's get down to it. I did slow down the, the fight a little bit, um, so it'll be a little bit easier for me to talk over it. Because it, we, uh, we did kind of overgear Heroic and it being the first boss, we kind of blazed through it. So... Um, uh, yeah, so here we go. Um, for this fight, I used Serenity. Um, you know, it's primarily a single target fight. Um, I also used the legendary wrists and legendary boots, uh, but that really was entirely because I don't really like using the legendary chest. Um, this is certainly a situation where the um, legendary chest, because it is single target, would be strong. Uh, but it's really just a single target fight. Um, so as you can see, we had a little bit of an issue with um, the weak ores and DBM showing uh, the comet afterwards. But really, it's the comet when you get the debuff, it slows you down. Um, but because Windwalker has things like flying serpent kick and roll, um, we're able to get out pretty quickly um, and stuff like that. This is a very strong fight for transcendence because there's a lot of porting out and or you know running out, running back in, running behind spikes and stuff like that. <clears throat> Um, it's a strong fight for Transcendence, as most fights are. Um, so again, as I kind of reiterate on most of my uh, kill videos, learn how to use uh, Transcendence well. Um, it's very important and will help you quite a lot. Um, but really, this is a very easy fight. It's the first fight in the raid. Um, he is the one that has the split personality relics, um, I believe. So if, you know, if you're interested in that, there's... Uh, a little bit more of detail on Peak of Serenity in the in the artifact section where the relics are. Um, but yeah, so this fight is really just tank and spank as you just saw. Um, he casts a big AoE, you gotta hide behind the spikes. You know, no big deal. Like I said, Transcendence is gonna be very useful there um, because <clears throat> uh, you're gonna have to run, you pour it back in, stuff like that. Um, there are certainly some opportunities to use uh, Touch of Karma. Uh, for, um, you know, soaking things, standing in fire, getting hit with stuff. Um, I didn't attempt to stand um, in this big arrow. Um, if you do happen to get this big arrow on you, then you have to run behind a spike uh, because it will destroy the spike, cause AoE damage and stuff like that. Um, so that's something to be cons to be considerate of and make sure you're prepared for. Um, but really, there's not a ton of mechanics. Stay out of fire. Uh, get out if you have this crashing comet. You know, so as you can see, even though it slows you down, it doesn't slow down roll or rising sir, uh, or roll or flying serpent kick. I use transcendence to get back in. Um, we kind of learned that our Uyghurs, whatever for whatever reason, was showing the uh, the chat bubble, you know, longer um, than it needed to be. Um, but yeah, I mean, he casts this infernal burning. You stand behind. You know, I probably could have, uh, <clears throat> you know, used something like. Uh, crackling jade lightning or whatever to keep up hit combo um but uh, i didn't because i suck um but yeah it, it for us it was about a three and a half minute fight because of our dps we are are all you know uh mythic night hold geared um and we did go and do a normal earlier so some of us got some normal gear and stuff um so we did kind of pretty drastically out gear um what this is set up for so we kind of blazed through it without a problem um so your fight may be a little bit longer if you're group is un uh, slightly less geared um, so as you see here um, I got the shattering star so I moved behind a pillar um, it destroys the pillar does AOE damage stuff like that um, but yeah it's really not um, a very difficult fight um, I got that that uh, run behind the spike thing just as I popped serenity which is fantastic so as you can see at the bottom my single target damage is quite low um, even lower than it typically would have been. Um, I got pretty bad luck on uh, stuff like this, but um, I definitely would recommend listening to my re most recent podcast where I talked about the current state of Windwalkers. Um, so my uh, DPS being that low is not quite uh, an outlier or based really on my performance. Um, you know, it is possible you might be able to use Diffuse Magic, um, certainly in combination with uh, Touch of Karma to stay in that big explosion. Um, I didn't try it. I tried it on normal um, and did it without really a problem. Um, but I'm, I can't remember if I did both the Fuse Magic and Touch of Karma, but I'm sure on Heroic you could probably do both. 
Um, as you can see here, it was ending quickly, so I popped, I hopped in some fire, popped Touch of Karma, and we killed the boss. Um, yeah, so not really a very difficult uh, fight. You're going to want to aim more for single target uh, mechanics and stuff like that. Um, you know, again, if you have the legendary chest, it's strong, but if you have, if you're going for the six piece, you know, the four piece tier 20 and the two piece tier 19, then you're not going to be able to use the chest, um, for this fight. So, uh, really is just single target. Serenity is strong, um, and stuff like that. Really nothing spectacularly complicated. Run behind spikes, stay out of fire, stuff like that. So, uh, thank you very much for, for watching this. Um, hopefully it answers more questions than it asks, uh, that it creates, sorry. Um, if you did like this stuff, please support me and the other uh, creators on Pika Serenity through Patreon and PayPal. Um, and check out the rest of my um, guides and uh, kill commentary, kill videos and stuff. All that stuff goes up on YouTube. So thank you very much for watching. And until next time, see you later.